How you doing? Hey, Ricky, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good, Tony. How are you doing? Well, it looks like it's mighty hot out here today. Oh, man, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, huh? Yeah. Didn't you know it was 102 degrees out here today? I wouldn't doubt it, Warbert. Tell you what, I'm doing okay, though. I, I worked in the yard last week, so I'm pretty much acclimated to the heat, man. Doing good, and besides, I'm being extra safe. Got more safety shades on. Well, I'm you know? glad you got the safety shades on. Yeah. I just wanted to remind you of the auction tonight. So you think you might be able to come? Well, I don't know, you know. I, like my old football coach used to say, no pain when the going gets tough, you know, tough get going. Hey, hey, why don't you come over here to the shade? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm fine, man. It, it is hot out here, but you know, no, no pain, no, no pain, no pain. Uh, man, it is hot. Like my old football, football coach used to say, the going gets tough. The going gets tough. Well, I just, just wanted to check. Uh, you take care now, and uh, I'll look to see you at the auction tonight, okay? Uh, I may be there. All right, well, I'll see you then. All right. Heat-related illness is no laughing matter. The average number of heat-related deaths annually in the past 10 years in the United States is 119, which makes heat the number one cause of weather-related fatalities, even above hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods. People with heat exhaustion may have headache, nausea, dizziness, cramps, irritability, confusion, and heavy sweating. They should be removed from the hot area if possible and given liquids to drink. Remove unnecessary clothing, including shoes and socks. Apply cold compresses to the head, neck, and face. If symptoms worsen, call 911 and get help immediately. Call 911 right now. Okay. Heat stroke is a life-threatening condition. At this stage, the body's temperature regulating system has failed and the body temperature rises to critical levels. Confusion, loss of consciousness, and seizures may occur. Skin may be red and damp or even dry as sweating ceases. If you see it happening to someone, don't just walk away and hope they'll be okay. Call 911 and take immediate steps to cool the person down. While waiting for the ambulance, loosen and remove unnecessary clothing. Spray the person with cold water. Use ice and fans, anything that you can do to help bring the person's body temperature down as quickly as possible. How can you prevent a situation just as this in the first place? It can be summarized in three words. Water, rest, shade. Drink water frequently when working or playing in the heat. Take frequent breaks in the shade or if possible in an air conditioned area. Avoid outside activity during the hottest part of the day. Water, rest, shade. It's better to practice prevention than it is to have to fight for survival during a heat stroke.